Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about which extracurriculars you should do in pre-med to have the best shot at getting into medical school. Now extracurriculars are a very important part of your medical school application because they set you apart from other people. The high MCAT and the high GPA just get your foot in the door, but once you're at the interview stage or the secondary reviewing of your application, everybody else in that stage also has a good enough MCAT and GPA. So things like your personal statement, which we talk about in another video, as well as your extracurriculars are what serve to set you apart from those other people and get you to the interview stage. And even then you'll be asked about your extracurriculars and how you talk about them plays a big part in whether you get in or not. Now extracurriculars is essentially anything you do outside of your school requirements. This can include jobs, research, volunteering, and things like that. And also don't be afraid to get paid for your extracurriculars. Like I said, jobs are included in this. You do wanna have some volunteering, but don't feel bad if you're getting paid or feel like it's any less than the other ones. Now the one major idea to remember when it comes to extracurriculars, a few long-term high quality commitments are better than a grocery list of things you did just to put in your application. It's very easy to tell when somebody's genuinely committed and excited about the things they've done versus things they just did to seem impressive. Now there's a few bases you should aim to cover with your choice of extracurriculars and we'll go over those. Now the basics include extracurriculars that pretty much everybody is expected to have. That's not to say that people who haven't done all these don't get in, but in order to maximize your chances, you want to cover all your bases. Now the first thing is an extracurricular that involves the hospital or patient care related things. This can include volunteering at the hospital, shadowing, helping with free clinics. Now the aim of this extracurricular is to show that you've spent a significant amount of time in the environment that you claim is your dream job. It shows that you've worked with medical professionals and patients and are liked in those environments. Depending on the longevity of your work, it could also lead to a reference letter down the road. To find an opportunity like this, you want to get in touch with your local hospitals and clinics and ask if they're taking on volunteers. Now, if you're lucky enough to have friends or family that are doctors or know somebody, then that's a great way to get a physician and get some experience in. Now the second base you're sort of expected to cover is research. Now personally I'm not really a fan of research but it is important for the medical field and for your application. It shows commitment and interest in the field of medicine and science and it shows that you like to learn and acquire knowledge and contribute knowledge to the medical field. Now ideally you want to find a project that you are passionate about or interested in but at the very least you have to do something and just check that box. Now you can do this by emailing your professors professionally with the CV and asking if they're taking on any students in their labs. Or you can do it the way I did it. I went to office hours once in a while to a professor whose class I really liked and I liked his teaching style. And I built that relationship with him over time by doing this and then I ended up in his lab and got my opportunity that way. Now depending on the quality of the work you do and the relationship you build with your preceptor, this is also a great way to get a reference letter down the road and even a potential publication. The thing about research is when it comes to your residency applications, you can again use this research that you did in college to put it there as well. Now the next base you want to cover is doing something that shows leadership. Obviously leadership is a very important skill to have as a physician, so seek to find a leadership position in whatever you do. When you sign up for clubs in your first year, Aim to get a leadership position in those clubs as you progress to your upper years. You can also go down the road of creating your own club if that interests you. Now this doesn't have to be too fancy. For example, after a year of working at the coffee shop that I worked at, I became a supervisor and trainer and this came up in my medical school interview. It's not so much what you did, but the fact that you showed initiative and went after a leadership position and that you like to lead. Now the fourth thing is community service. Something that's not necessarily related to medicine, but just for the betterment of the community that you're in. This basically shows how good of a person you are, or at least pretend to be. Now, medical schools want to see that you contribute to society and will be a welcome addition to their city or their environment. It's important to be at least somewhat passionate about what you're doing because it's going to make your time better and the passion is going to come across in your interview when you talk about it. For example, what I did for this, I love volleyball. 
So my version of this was running a youth summer volleyball camp in, I believe, the second summer of college. It was a great time for me. It didn't really feel like work, and it was one of the major extracurriculars that set me apart. The ideal thing is to find things in all these categories that you genuinely enjoy so you can be great at them and put forward your best effort because this is going to lead to great reference letters and great conversation during your interviews. So these are basically the four categories of expected extracurriculars. Basically, everybody, every pre-med applying to medical school has something within these categories. Now, this isn't a hard and fast rule, but I would suggest that you cover all four of these bases to solidify your foundation. Do it your own way by pursuing things that you enjoy and that are in your line of interest, and you'll have a good time. Now, this doesn't mean just do one thing in each of these categories and you're all set. You should aim to do more extracurriculars on top of this stuff that don't necessarily have to be part of any category, but rather are individual to you and show off your personality. Cover these bases by doing multiple things within each category, as long as you're not spreading yourself too thin. Just remember that the most important thing in your pre-med years is your MCAT and your GPA, because those are the things that get your foot in the door in the first place. So don't spread yourself too thin to the point that these things start to suffer. Because if your MCAT and your GPA are too low, it's not impossible, but you are gonna have a harder time getting into medical school, because for the most part, those are the things that decide if you get an interview along with your personal statement and then you get to talk about your extracurriculars. So just keep your priorities straight. Try and find extracurriculars that you enjoy within these categories and other random ones that don't necessarily fit, but just make sure you have these bases covered. We hope this helped you out. As always, feel free to reach out to us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.